Hello all and welcome once again to my YouTube channel Engineering Physics by Sanjeev. This is the fourth session in MCQ series on electrodynamics and in this session we are going to discuss some MCQs on Maxwell's equations. Hope this session will help you in the preparation of different competitive exams like MST, CET, JEE main, NEET etc. If you like the session please subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. Let us start with the first question. Maxwell's equations shelter on dash law or laws. The options are Faraday's law, Gauss's law, Ampere's law, all of these. We know Maxwell's first equation divergence of E bar is equal to rho V by epsilon naught where rho V is charge density and epsilon naught is permittivity of free space is based on Gauss law for electric field. Second equation divergence of B bar is equal to zero it is based on Gauss law for magnetic field. Third equation curl of E bar is equal to minus del B bar by del T. It is based on Faraday's law. And fourth equation curl of B bar is equal to mu naught J bar where J bar is current density. It is based on Ampere's law. So here D all of these is the correct option. Next question as per Maxwell's first equation curl of D is equal to rho V divergence of d is equal to rho v or curl of d is equal to rho s divergence of d is equal to rho s so which one is the correct option here maxwell's first equation is written as divergence of e bar is equal to rho v by epsilon naught where rho v is charge density as we know the electric flux density d bar is equal to epsilon naught e bar and therefore we can write this Maxwell's first equation as divergence of D bar is equal to rho V. So here B is the correct option. Next one, the differential form of Faraday's law is the given options are curl of E bar is equal to minus del B bar by del T, curl of B bar is equal to minus del B bar by del T, curl of E bar is equal to minus mu naught del B bar by del T, and curl of E bar is equal to minus mu naught epsilon naught del B bar by del T. So which one is the correct option here? Maxwell wrote his third equation for Faraday's law. Faraday's law states that whenever there is a change in magnetic flux linked with the circuit and EMF is induced in that circuit and magnitude of induced EMF is equal to rate of change of flux. This Maxwell's third equation is written as curl of E bar is equal to minus del B bar by del T. And therefore option A is the correct option here. This is next one. The unit of curl of H bar is the given options are ampere per meter, ampere meter, ampere per meter square and ampere meter square. According to Maxwell's fourth equation we can write curl of B bar equal to mu naught J bar where J bar is current density. We know B bar is equal to mu naught H bar and therefore curl of H bar can be written as J bar. J bar is the current density and unit of J bar is ampere per meter square and therefore unit for curl of H bar will also be ampere per meter square and therefore C is the option which is correct here. Next one. The Maxwell's equations curl of B bar is equal to mu naught J bar is based on Faraday's law, Gauss law or Ampere's law or Coulomb's law. Which one is the correct option? Curl of B bar equal to mu naught J bar. This is actually Maxwell's fourth equation which is based on Ampere's circuital law. This law states that the line integral of magnetic field intensity H bar around a closed path is equal to the current enclosed by that path. Therefore, we can write line integral of h bar dl equal to current i. b bar is equal to mu naught into h bar and therefore h bar can be written as b bar upon mu naught. Current i can be written as surface integral of j bar ds where j bar is current density that is current per unit cross sectional area. Here using Stokes theorem we can convert this line integral into a surface integral. According to Stokes theorem line integral of any vector function can be replaced by surface integral of curl of that vector function. 
and therefore line integral of b bar dl can be written as surface integral of curl of b bar ds this mu not is taken to the right side and therefore we can write surface integral of curl of b bar ds equal to mu not surface integral of j bar ds so both are surface integrals on both sides of this equation and therefore we can write curl of b bar equal to mu not j bar and this is nothing but maxwell's fourth equation so the maxwell's equations curl of b bar equal to mu not j bar is based on ampere's circuit law so here option c is the correct option next one which of the following equation is modified by maxwell four options are given here first option is divergence of e bar is equal to rho v by epsilon not that is first equation divergence of b bar equal to zero this is second equation curl of e bar is e equal to minus del b bar by del t this is third equation and curl of b bar is equal to mu not j bar this is fourth equation so which one of these is modified by maxwell in this equation number 4 curl of b bar equal to mu not j bar is written for the electric field which is not varying with time in case of time varying field this time varying field produces the magnetic field and this magnetic field gives rise to a current maxwell postulated that this current is proportional to the rate of change of electric field and called it as displacement current the displacement current density is defined in terms of the rate of change of electric displacement field and therefore this equation curl of b bar equal to mu not j bar is modified as curl of b bar equal to mu not j bar plus del d bar by del t so this j bar is replaced by j bar plus del d bar by del t so here option d is the correct option who developed a concept of time varying electric field producing a magnetic field the options are gauss faraday hertz and maxwell maxwell wrote his fourth equation curl of b bar equal to mu not j bar for ampere's law and this ampere's law is valid for the closed circuit through which electric field does not change with time that is for static fields maxwell proposed for closed circuits through which the electric field changes with time that is for time varying electric field displacement current density is introduced and therefore this maxwell's fourth equation curl of b bar equal to mu not j bar changes to curl of b bar equal to mu not j bar plus del d bar by del t so here this del d bar by del t is the displacement current density so this displacement current density was introduced by maxwell for time varying electric fields so here d is the correct option next one which of the following maxwell's equation results from the ampere circuit law the options are divergence of e bar equal to rho v by epsilon not divergence of b bar is equal to 0 curl of e bar equal to minus del b bar by del t and curl of b bar is equal to mu not j bar here divergence of e bar equal to rho v by epsilon not this is maxwell's first equation based on gauss law for electric field divergence of b bar equal to 0 this is maxwell's second equation based on gauss law for magnetic field curl of e bar equal to minus del b bar by del t this is third equation based on faraday's law and curl of b bar equal to mu not j bar this is maxwell's fourth equation based on ampere's circuit law so here d is the correct option next when magnetic field intensity is given as h bar equal to 3 i cap plus 7 y j cap plus 2 x k cap ampere per meter what is the current density j bar in ampere per meter square the given options are minus 2 j cap minus 7 k cap 3 j cap and 12 j cap in this problem the current density j bar can be found using maxwell's fourth equation maxwell's fourth equation is written as 
कर्ल ऑफ बी बार इक्वल टू म्यू नॉट जे बार वी नो बी बार इज इक्वल टू म्यू नॉट एच बार एंड देर फोर एच बार कैन बी रिटर्न एज बी बार अपॉन म्यू नॉट एंड देर फोर दिस मैक्सवेल्स फोर्थ इक्वेशन कैन बी रिटर्न एज कर्ल ऑफ एच बार इक्वल टू जे बार सो टू फाइंड द करेंट डेंसिटी जे बार वी विल हैव टू फाइंड कर्ल ऑफ एच बार सो लेट इज फाइंड कर्ल ऑफ एच बार कर्ल ऑफ एच बार इज गिवेन बाई दिस डिटर्मिनेंट इन विच फर्स्ट रो इज यूनिट वेक्टर्स अलॉन्ग एक्स वाई एंड जेड एक्सिस रिस्पेक्टिवली सेकेंड रो इज कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ डेल ऑपरेटर डेल बाय डेल एक्स डेल बाय डेल वाई एंड डेल बाय डेल जेड एंड थर्ड रो इज कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ एच बार एक्स कंपोनेंट इज थ्री वाई कंपोनेंट इज सेवन वाई एंड जेड कंपोनेंट इज टू एक्स सो लेट इज सॉल्व दिस डिटर्मिनेंट दिस डिटर्मिनेंट विल गिव एस आई कैप डेल टू एक्स बाय डेल वाई माइनस डेल सेवन वाई बाय डेल जेड माइनस जे कैप डेल टू एक्स बाय डेल एक्स माइनस डेल थ्री बाय डेल जेड प्लस के कैप डेल सेवन वाई बाय डेल एक्स माइनस डेल थ्री बाय डेल वाई दिस विल रिजल्ट इन जीरो दिस विल ऑल्सो रिजल्ट इन जीरो बिकॉज वाई इज ट्रीटेड एज कॉन्स्टेंट विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू जेड दिस विल रिजल्ट इन टू डेल टू एक्स बाय डेल एक्स विल रिजल्ट इन टू डेल थ्री बाय डेल जेड विल बी जीरो del 7y by del x will be 0 and del 3 by del y will be 0 so here the answer will be minus 2j cap minus 2j cap is the correct answer here so option a is the correct option in this problem this is the last question in this session the value of 1 upon square root of epsilon not mu not is the given options are 2 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second 3 into 10 raised to 7 meter per second, 2 into 10 raised to 7 meter per second, 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second. While working with uh, Maxwell's equations in free space, we come across a constant 1 upon square root of epsilon not mu not. Here, mu not is permeability of free space that is given by 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7 Weber per ampere meter. Epsilon not is permittivity of free space that is 8.85 into 10 raised to minus 12 coulomb square by newton meter square when we calculate this constant 1 upon square root of epsilon not mu not it comes out to be 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second that is velocity of light so here d is the correct option friends we are at the end of this session on mcqs on maxwell's equation this was part 1 in part 2 we will deal with some more questions on maxwell's equations if you find this session helpful to you please like it subscribe to the channel and share with your friends thank you